Can you um, comment a little on how you feel on stage? Different thoughts run through my mind. Hopefully I can get lost in the song and enjoy it and concentrate on it. But like for a while I was writing a lot of pretty closely personal stuff that I sometimes I just hated to perform for a while. It took me about two months to get into performing it and and not thinking about what it actually said because it was, it was kind of harrowing to go through the same idea over and over again when it was bothering me a lot. You I used to get a lot more nervous live than I do now. Now I, I, it's not a trauma at all. Um, I, most of my excitement comes from nervous tension, though, just, be, just because it's a release of it, to actually be doing it correctly in front of people, which is seldom enough. <laughs> How do you feel on stage, Rick? Well, Matt, uh, I enjoy the immediate feedback from the crowd. It's so rewarding to hear people clap after you do a song. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of times just playing the song and getting through it uh, right, live, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's so rare, you gotta now and then. celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break out the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sense of accomplishment to it, and you did it, you know, and uh, or you almost did. <laughs> How do you react to the audience? As much How do you I try to, feel yeah, I try to make as much eye contact as, they, uh, as possible with them, just enjoy the uh, party atmosphere with them. You know, be as much a part of the audience as uh, as possible.
people who's, you know, scoff at our technical abilities. And we don't care, you know, that's not why we're doing it to be uh, virtuosos or anything. We just do it for the fun of it. I was uh, petrified the first time we went on it. Yeah, up to, you know, while we were rehearsing and everything, I thought, this is great, we got a band. And the moment I got on the stage, I thought, this is the end of the line. You know, nobody <laughs> in their right mind would want to do this. But uh, I've kind of gotten over that. And, Why do you say that? No one in their right mind would want to do this. I and mean, what? Oh, it could be harrowing. You can. The. All right. Well, I've said this a million times, but the, the, uh, the way the, to best describe that first time is like, getting in front of those people, with a plate glass there, and you're naked, and <laughs> you kind of press yourself up against there, and everybody can see, everything that there is to you, and. It's just, it was just horrifying. And I was f***ing <laughs> bricks. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I've gotten, I learned to relax a little bit, but, you know, you still, you always get nervous. I like to watch, uh, like, some, if some people are at a table and they haven't seen you before, and they're kind of with their buddies, you know, and they're, they all want to say, these guys suck, you know. <laughs> and uh, you watch them through the night, and maybe they move up a little bit closer, and, there's so many people dancing that it, it's easy for them to get rid of their inhibitions or, or whatever and, and just get in this group and dancing, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be couples. And, uh, you know, by the end of the night you see this, these guys, uh, you know, they're out there and they're someplace and they're, they're dancing. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's very nice to see a person who doesn't look like the type who would typically go to a rock and roll environment, rock and roll show. Uh, sit there and maybe be a little shy at first, but then by some <clears throat> weird luck or whatever, be able to be the kind of band that can reach a, a person who would be shy normally and let them have, you know, have fun too, reach them and... Uh, if we can make them feel relaxed and if, if we present, the, or if, if we portray ourselves as being relaxed and, and not embarrassed about messing up, you know, that puts the crowd at ease, I think, and, yeah. and that's always a good thing to do. I think. Jimmy, how about yourself? Uh, I I think I enjoy enjoy it for the same reasons Roy mentioned. Um, once again, you know, as far as live performance, if there wasn't a very um, live kind of audience that was uh, reacting to us in some way, I would, you know, I'd. I just wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't enjoy it. Uh, it's easy to get bummed out if there's uh, 10 or 20 people. I've played to 10 or 20 people before for a whole evening, and it's just a drag. You know, there's there's no response, and you don't get anything going. Um, it's real interesting at Mabel's. Uh, it's just a whole variety of different things that happen. This one has become to be known as Delectic Chat. <laughs> 